Hi, and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the new functions within Ruckus Analytics called Data Studio. Data Studio is our new version of Data Explorer. So hopefully you guys have used Data Explorer in the past to either help uh, clients or customers, or at least just for your own knowledge about how um, to access all the data that goes into analytics and ultimately that's used for predictive things, resolution and, and um, analysis. So as we go through Data Studio today, what we're going to do, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of highlight, you know, what things used to be called or how you would use to get to data in Explorer and how you do that now in Data Studio. And then I'll kind of wrap it up with probably the coolest feature that's come uh, as a result of Data, uh, data Studio, um, but I'll leave that till the end. So it's a nail biter. Okay, so Data Studio, um, again, if, if you're not super familiar with analytics in general, you know, everything that's connected to the system goes into a massive database. Um, and it's it's stuff that is readily available in reports. It's stuff that's readily available um, in terms of incident and analysis and troubleshooting. But at the end of the day, those aren't always enough. And so if you're looking for that needle in the haystack, that one thing um, that will help you solve a customer problem, you have to get to that raw data. So again, in the past, it was always Data Explorer. Um, for those that haven't been in it before, Data Explorer is basically organized in data cubes. Within data cubes, there are metrics and dimensions or measures and dimensions. Um, so we'll be referencing those terminologies going forward in Data Studio, just so you have kind of a benchmark of, of what you used to be able to do. Within Data Explorer, you also have this notion of dashboards, and dashboards could be a collection of data gathered from Data Cube. Um, and then stored and saved within that network structure to be able to recall it readily without having to rebuild that data set or that visualization every time. So you'll see that um, obviously in the new Data Studio as well. So let's jump on in. Um, so Data Studio, um, when you first click on it, you're gonna be um, brought up either to a dashboard page or to a home screen. Now the home screen is basically your collection of dashboards and charts that can be marked by favorites and also ones that you've you've um, created yourself. In this particular case, I'm logged in as um, Ruckus Networks. This is in essentially the lab environment. So everybody that has you know a Ruckus Network system pushing data into analytics, this is the system that I'm using. Um, that's important to note as we start building some of these charts and reports and dashboards um, because you're going to see a lot of data and that data won't necessarily be available in a customer system. But again, you'll see some of the advantages to that here in a minute. Dashboards, just a quick overview. It's um, very, very similar to a dashboard in Data Explorer. It is a combination of charts and graphs and data presented in one formatted uh, screen capture or screen uh, layout or orientation to, to present the data in a meaningful way. Charts, charts are the backbone of how that data is accessed and presented. So think of the chart just like it sounds. You're going to have some sort of a visualization. That visual, visualization will contain uh, in the Data Explorer word, it would, world, it would have been a dimension and a metric or a measure. Um, in this particular case, uh, you'll see later here, it's, it's, it's a little bit different terminology, but the same data is there. Um, the migration from Explorer to Data Studio has not changed the fundamental underlying architecture of the data. It's just the visualization component um, that's migrating or changing. 